Hello there, I'm Tom, and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your, uh, your laptop or your PC uh, to a computer or a TV screen, so you can, you can use that as a monitor, so if you're watching uh, stream content or something like YouTube or iPlayer or you're streaming some sort of stuff and you don't want to watch it on your, on your laptop because you know, it's a little tiny little screen, you can connect to your TV usually, uh, and this is probably the best way of doing it. Um, now, to begin, um, my laptop has got a HDMI output, so before you do this, you might want to just check to make sure your laptop's got that. If it's within the last few years, you know, last, well, this is probably about five, six years old now, it's got a HDMI laptop, so if it's about within the last 10 years, chances are you've got a HDMI output on it, uh, and this is the easiest way to get onto your TV screen. There are other ways of doing it, with some sort of like adapters and all, you know, all, you know other video type connections. Um, some of them don't have sound, so if, you, if you're doing it like a VGI or DVI connection, they don't always have sound, you might have to, put, have to put separate sound cables in. But the HDMI interface allows for sound as well up to, to, to your screen. Uh, and certainly newer, but some of the newest models, they allow you to be like wireless DCTV. So you wouldn't need to do this, but if you do it this way, this is the way I always do it anyway, uh, and so you don't get any issues. Uh, now what we're going to do... Uh, we've got a HDMI cable as well. Uh, it doesn't need to be this long. <laughs> this is what I'm lying about. Um, we're going to plug it into the HDMI output on the laptop. Get the screen, make sure it's in. That's it, it's clicked in now. And normally you'll take that end and go up behind your TV with it. So you'd have to find where the HDMI inputs in your TV are and go into it with one of them. Just make a note which input it is because then we're going to have to switch the TV to it when it's connected and we want to watch it. Um, it'll be called HDMI 1, HDMI 2, something like that. It might be called AV1 or something like that. But because, well, because I hate cables and because um, all, all my AV equipment's behind this wall here, in my downstairs cupboard, but I've put a little HDMI port here, so every time I've got something I want to plug in, I'll just plug it in there. So at the minute I've got my Amazon Fire Stick in it, just there. Um, just I'm, I'm plugging it in there, I've got a mess about the connection to be on the TV. Or you know, I've got handprints all over the wall or something like that. Plus, it's easy for the kids and stuff, they want to plug stuff in. Um, but I can, I, can, I can plug that in, and there's a HDMI cable going at the back of that socket into the TV. So I'm going to plug that into my wall jack here. Wall jack, I'm not playing America. <laughs> oh, that's what I call it in America. Um, and, alright, so let's just put that there for two secs. Let's get that with that. Um, so now we've got our HDMI connected cable connected to the TV, albeit for a wall plate and up to the TV. Uh, and we're going to need to tell the TV. Uh, my, it's in my laptop just made a sound there to say it's detected it. I'm going to tell the TV to go to the laptop. Um, or, you know, just because it's at the minute it's still showing the TV picture, you probably just make out some feet from the athletics that's coming on TV. Um, and we're going to do that with the TV remote. So I've got one here. Uh, and now I'm just going to do this bit here. On, on our TV's remote, we've got, we've got a button called Source. Now, your, this is a Samsung TV remote, but yours might say um, Input. Or it might say AV, or it might say just a picture of like a little bit of different equipment and stuff like that. But or it might just have that picture, that that square with the arrow in it. That that's the symbol for source. I'm just going to move this up a tad. Um, here, this one. Now when we press that, now my TV detected that I've got something on HDMI 4 because that's that's where I've got that HDMI 3. I've got my games console connected to, and that's in behind here. But if I go down to um, HDMI 4, here. Then now, now we've got laptops. So if you look up on the screen, we've got the you know my home screen um, with all, all, all our shortcuts and stuff to it. Now if I want to go here and put something interesting on here, put a bit of video or something, uh, we, we can do it. So we're going to give it a minute. Sorry, my laptop's really quite slow. It hasn't been turned on in a while. Right, so my laptop's finally working up and it's responding now, so uh, I'm just going to show you a website we can go to. So if I go to YouTube, uh, da, 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 da. Now, now, uh, you probably see the screen, it's got lots of slime videos and kids' videos. Obviously, my kids have been using my YouTube account. Um, but we're going to watch something interesting, shall we? Uh, let's go to my channel. And let's watch this one. So now, now, now we've just got up on the screen, uh, watching YouTube, you'll see my... Is it going to come up? There you are, there's my ugly mug talking. Get to see me twice, lucky you. Uh, let's go full screen. Uh, there's a little button here on our video, it says subscribe. Click that and subscribe, which I'll come to in a minute. But uh, let's go full screen. 
Now we've, just, now we've got YouTube full screen on TV. If you have a smart TV, then you can just use, this can make your TV smart. So, you know, if you don't really want to go out and buy a new TV, a new smart TV, then you can just do it this way. As long as you're happy, you know, plugging your laptop in and stuff like that. You can even get yourself like a little wireless keyboard so you can sit on the comfort of your sofa and, and or do something like that. Um, but I'm, just, I'm quite happy doing this and I quite like the idea of just unplugging it and stuff like that. Um, if, when you connected your, I'm going to come out of that now, nothing me. If, if when you come, let's give it that. If, if when you come into your video and it didn't come up on screen, um, so when you, if you, you double, double check to make sure HDMI cables are in both ends, make sure you're on the right input for your TV. If you're still getting no picture and you're using Windows, go into the display settings. Now on this TV, um, I can just press, I've got, I've got a handy little bar here, so what I'm going to control panel, just press display settings. Uh, this is Windows 10. Um, it got change display settings there. You just need to make sure it is set up to replicate what the laptop's outputting, because I think as standard, they're not. So obviously when I've used this before, you might have to go here and just go identify or detect, all this sort of stuff. So um, obviously Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows Vista, if anyone ever used that today. <laughs> or so if you're using, um, you're just going to find out which one does what, and then you can replicate what's on there. Um, you, there might be an issue with the resolution, but the TV and stuff should be intelligent enough just to, you know, work out what, what resolution to put the picture up on. If you're using a Mac or an Apple product, sorry, I can't help you. <laughs> I know nothing about it. I, I'm, I'm a Windows and an Android man, so um, open source all the way. And that's it. So this video shows you how to connect your laptop to your TV. I hope you, hope you find it useful. Uh, if, you did, if you did like it, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do give it a like. Please do give it a share if it's on the social media, through our Facebook page or something like that. Smart Hills Facebook page, that is. Um, and got any questions, please put them in the section below. I'll be delighted to help you. I'm quite active on our channel. I do, I do like to help people when they, when they put questions in. Please, 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 please do subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. We've got lots of channels on there already, lots of videos on there already showing you how to do uh, various stuff there, also satellite dish installation and stuff like that. And we're going to constantly be updating it, so if you stay subscribed, you'll learn a lot. And hopefully save a lot of money, you know, not have to get professionals out like ourselves to do this sort of stuff for you, because it is quite simple. Um, and that's it. So I'm Tom Smart for Smart Aerials. Bye for now.